Hello, welcome to this quick video on how to photograph diamonds that actually have a sparkle inside of them. Uh, but before we move on to the best type of lighting to use, it's actually important to understand how and why diamonds sparkle in the first place. Um, this knowledge will enable you to think more clearly about how to angle the lighting and from which side to place the light source for your individual circumstances. So there are three ways diamonds illuminate, each one providing the eye with a different perception, creating very different effects. Uh, the first of these is fire. Now this is a process that disperses the light in such a way to create the effect of a rainbow. When thinking about angles with this type of diamond, you of course need to make sure this effect does not obscure the view of the diamond unless this is what you're looking for. In which case, light the diamond from the rear. Alternatively, light it from the side to move the effect off centre, so play with the light and with the angle to affect where the rainbow effect is actually coming from. The second is brilliance. Uh, this is the creation of an illumination surrounding the diamond in a halo light effect. This looks good from multiple lighting angles. Um, a light box is ideal with this diamond because the light is evenly dispersed, uh, creating you know, a really good effect there. The last one is scintillation. Uh, this is an effect that comes about through movement when either the observer or the diamond moves. Flashes of light will be produced. Uh, use a very fast shutter speed and a low ISO to capture this movement without distortion. Okay, so now on to, how, on to a bit of how to create these effects. So this is about soft lighting versus hard lighting. Um, I've actually written an article on the whole subject of dealing with shadows if you want to know about that. But onto this topic, hard lighting is a light source that is smaller than a diamond. So using flash photography is actually out of the question here. The reflected light will be too intense and obscure the diamond itself with the glare. Um, the use of hard light in combination with soft light is what enables you to produce a fire, brilliance or scintillation. The flash in the camera won't allow you to control this, but using a bright LED lamp to the side at maybe a 45 degree angle or from the rear will allow you to create the effects to get that sparkle you're looking for. So that could also be a small torch perhaps. Soft lighting is when the light comes from a larger light source with the effect of shadows appearing softer as well as the light having the ability to both flow through and around the diamond more fluidly. So evidently sunlight will be the best option here as well as two large softbox lights depending on what setup you have at home. Taking the image next to a large open window is also obviously a great idea for that. One issue that might, may occur is seeing the reflection of objects outside in the diamond. Uh, a way of dealing with this is to place a light diffuser by the window or use a polarizing um, filter. These are the best combinations of options to stop, like having those cars, the uh, car reflections of cars driving past in the diamond and all that sort of thing. If there's a lack of sufficient sunlight, the second best option is to use a light box. This offers a light source from all directions, giving you that sparkle you're looking for. So using a combination of soft light and hard light is the key to taking photos of diamonds that sparkle. So. A final lighting option is to use a sparkler light or a sparkler light box. These will add an additional layer of sparkle to the diamonds, having your photography stand out one notch above the competition. It basically gives the diamond a three-dimensional effect in the image too. Uh, this is because the larger surface area of the diamond is illuminated. So I go through this more precisely step by step in my article. I'll link it below with like diagrams of um, the results as well. So yeah, check that out. Let me know what you think. Cheers then.